Hey there my dude, today I'm gonna show you a leveling system that I made for my multiplayer game. When the match ends, your character is going to gain experience and when leveling up you're gonna receive perk points. And these points can be used to buy perks for a bunch of different elements of the game. Like increasing the base speed of your character, or increasing the damage and even fire rate of your weapons. Or you can level up your companion dog unit. And when starting a new match, you start stronger to survive more time and that is the core gameplay loop. There is a lot of perks beyond the ones I showed you and you will only discover them by playing. And this update is already on the closed alpha of the game. Something you probably noticed already is that the main menu is a little bit different. I decided to make an improved map that made more sense with what I wanted to do. My idea with this is for it to be kind of like a protected headquarters for your characters. I'm still polishing and adding more details, so there will be a couple of areas that are still a little bit empty. Huh? Another thing that's improved now is that each option on this menu here will transport you to a different area. It works kind of similar to Spark Muts, where the main menu scene is a bit more interactive and the camera focuses on different parts of the room. For this headquarters, for example, if you click to edit your character, the camera cuts to the recreation area where the bros sleep. There's even a little guitar there, a sofa, and a TV. This TV is the same exact one as the customization piece you can use, by the way, but stuck into the floor. If you click on browse servers, the camera also changes the view to this big ass map here that I thought works a lot better than before. If you click on this button here, it is going to take you to the perk section. Here each building and item that can be improved is going to have a physical space in your headquarters. So your character, your guns, your buildings and your companion dog. Using the mouse cursor on the controller d-pad, you can choose an attribute for any item you want to improve. And by holding the mouse click or A on your controller, you can buy the this attribute using your perk points. The more you buy of an attribute, the more expensive it becomes. And if you want to refund these points, all you gotta do is hold the right mouse button or X on the controller. Something really cool that I added is the more you hold the button, the faster it becomes. So if you wanna spend a lot of perk points, it can speed up the process to buy and to sell. My initial idea was to add like three buttons for each thing, so like buy one, buy five, or buy all that you can afford. But this would pollute the interface too much and it it would become even harder to understand what's going on at first glance. I'm still not 100% satisfied with this layout, and if you have an idea on how to make it more clear, let me know in the comment section below. To alternate between what item you want to improve, you can press R1 and L1 or click the arrows up there. Some attributes are gonna cost a lot more and will have a ceiling, like the one that increases your running speed. This attribute has a maximum level, and is the type of thing that you can only max out when you are kind of far into the game. But in general, attributes will be very cheap and not have a cap, so like your weapon damage can scale to infinity, in theory. All of these attributes that you buy in your level will be saved on your character, so if you want to start from scratch with a friend, all you gotta do is make a new character. Now I don't know if you remember my video where I first showed Defender Bros, but beyond these perk points you can also level up inside of the match itself. This system is still there and it is a complementary piece to the one that I'm showing you today. Imagine something like your account level on League of Legends versus your character level inside of the match. So for instance, let's say that you leveled up your turret from the main menu. You're gonna start off the game with a stronger turret, and if you level up your turret damage, it is going to increase the already higher value from the turret. Your XP here is only for this match, including all of the augmentations you get when leveling up. The augmentations are a lot stronger than an individual perk point you buy from the main menu, and they serve to add a roguelike aspect to the game. With every run, there is going to be different sets of options that you can pick. And if you're lucky or know how to pick the best options, the run can get a lot easier. On my next video, I'm going to make the last big element to close the core features of my game. And I guarantee you won't want to miss this. But that's it. Thank you for watching.